Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. If you're new here, my name is Misako and Bella, and thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. It's official, I'm moving to Tokyo, I've made the decision. I have secured my flights, my accommodations, I've enrolled in my language school, I am ready to go. And I am so, so, so excited. I don't know if I'll be there forever, I don't know if this is a permanent thing, but I am ready to try. I feel really excited to have finally made this decision. If you've been watching my countdown to Tokyo on YouTube Shorts or on TikTok, you know that, um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this next chapter in my life. I have thought very deeply about this and I'm ready. I can't wait. I know that this is going to be good for me and good for my soul. And even if it doesn't turn out being a long-term thing, I'm just, I'm just proud of myself for trying. The two main things I need to focus on now though are one, securing a work visa. Your girl needs a work visa. Um, I was presented with a couple pretty cool opportunities in Tokyo, but I need a work visa in order to engage in these opportunities and activities. I'm not gonna share what they are just yet, just cause I don't wanna jinx anything. Nothing is set in stone. Um, but the first step to even potentially doing these things is having a work visa. The second thing I need to focus on is clearing out the few things I have in this apartment. As you know, if you've been watching me for a minute, this place is furnished, so I don't have to pack up all my furniture, which I'm so happy about. I just have to let go of some clothes and decide what I'm taking with me. I don't have a lot of things. I give away things often, and so, yeah, I think it'll be a pretty easy transition for me, but I need to start doing it now. I've been doing a lot of research on my own about work visa options. For my Mexican visa, I knew which visa I wanted. I knew that I met the qualifications for this visa. I didn't need a work visa. Um, and I worked with an incredible lawyer who I know a lot of you have worked with. So overall, the process was pretty quick and seamless. Now, for my visa in Japan, there are a lot more steps and requirements. I don't qualify for a lot of the visa options. Um, and I've done a lot of research on my own, but I need support in this process. Right now, I just need to get clear on what my work visa options are and what I need to be working towards. And like I said, I've done a lot of research on my own, but I really want to speak to people who have been through this process, who can look at my materials and tell me what I qualify for, what I don't qualify for. And thanks to Fiverr, the sponsors of today's video, I have found people who can help me with this process. I'm juggling a lot of things in my life right now, and I was just looking for support in this process, people who could help me make this process a little easier and I found exactly what I was looking for on Fiverr. I'm not looking for someone to actually do the visa process for me, like I'm not looking for legal advice, I'm just looking for someone to talk to. And that's the incredible thing about Fiverr, there's such a diverse talent pool. You can find everything from people who can answer your visa questions to people who can do visual effects for your YouTube videos. I know that there are a lot of you who watch my videos who want to move abroad or relocate as well, and I know that I can't answer all of your questions, but there might be someone on Fiverr who can. I actually already had a call with someone last night. His name is Kamal, and he was super helpful. I discovered artist visas and entertainer visas, and the thing that was the most discouraging was just the fact that I don't have a bachelor's degree. I do have 10 years of experience in social media marketing. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to talk to someone about my options, how long the process takes, what you think the best avenue is for me. I'll send you a few links as well for that you can do oh. all online. Yeah, because it's pretty common and, and it's very common that they do uh, do lots of uh, visa sponsorship from overseas. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the easiest jobs actually in Japan. Okay, that's what... I mean, easiest like for, for visa sponsorship from overseas. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm very open to that as well if um that's a possibility any any possibility <laughs> yeah, you can do it at least like for one year right and after that you could you could switch to other any other job like if you want oh okay cool i was yes. looking on linkedin but i didn't see a lot but maybe it's just not used to me yeah exactly yeah. linkedin is not very popular in japan okay uh, it's not what companies are using for recruitment. Okay, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Kamal. I'm gonna link his profile down below. He was so helpful and I feel so much more hopeful about this process than I did going into it. To be honest, I thought that my options were going to be like super limited because I don't I don't have a bachelor's degree, I have an associate's degree. Um, and I had read somewhere that my ten years of experience could possibly help me and he confirmed that and he also sent me a bunch of websites. There were a lot of things that he provided clarity on that I that I thought I knew the answer to and, and 
yeah, I'm really happy that I had a conversation with him. Also, he was just so nice and he followed up with more information. He's like, I'm here for you throughout this process. Like, please reach out if you need anything. And there are so many incredible people on Fiverr. I feel, yeah, just hopeful. So thank you, Kamal. I know that life can get hectic and we all have a lot going on, but your dreams deserve to be realized too. Discover how Fiverr can streamline your life and help make your dreams a reality from visa inquiries to travel planning and more. So if you want to check it out, you can click the link in my bio and don't forget to use my code for a discount. Okay, so the first step of this process is to take everything out of this dresser put it on my bed and start separating everything. This is not related to the video, but I just, my camera <laughs> just took a huge tumble from the, the point of view that you saw before to the ground. And I am just hoping it makes it through to the end of this video. I do not need to be trying to get a new camera right now. Anyway, here we go. I know you're probably looking at my drawers like, Misaka, why is not anything, anything folded? And you'd be right to ask that question. I don't fold my undergarments and I don't fold my bathing suits. So the, these two drawers were undergarments and bathing suits. This drawer didn't look that great either. So you know what? I'm just not great at this. Don't judge me. Let's not. Don't, don't judge me. This one looks a little better. This is not so fast. I need to separate all of these things from the dresser into things I'm taking to Japan, um, things I'm going to pack away, probably leave in Los Angeles or um, in my friend's storage space here, and then things I'm going to donate. I did this recently because I wanted to donate to an organization here, um, but I'm always like ready to let go of of clothing so I'm sure I will still have a lot of things that I want to let go of this is not I need to push everything to this side and yeah this I think this will be easier okay um, long sleeve thermal it's going to be very very hot when I go to Japan I don't think that I'm going to need this um, so I will leave that there. Um, my moo moo. I love it because my grandma gave it to me. I'm gonna take it with me. I love a good moo moo. These Lulu le lemon leggings. Great for exercising. This is gonna be a task. I can already tell this is going to be a task. Um, If you have been watching my channel since I moved to Mexico, you might remember that I did this right before I left LA. And um, yeah, I accumulated a lot of stuff in the past four and a half years of living here, um, or three and a half years of living here. And it felt so nice to release my stuff when I did it. It felt so nice to let go. I came to Mexico with a checked bag and a carry-on and it was really lovely um, and so I'm looking forward to being like that light again also I just know my style is going to totally just like transform it's going to totally transform um, when I get to Japan and I'm looking forward to that. So a lot of these things, even though I like them, like I'm, I don't know if it fits my new, just like I'm super into baggy style. And yeah, a lot of these things like 
just don't really align with that. Jenny from um, Jenny Bourne on YouTube, her channel used to be called Where I Live. It's just Jenny Bourne now, one of my favorite creators and an internet friend. She talks about how like pulling all of her clothes out of the closet or wherever she's storing them like reminds her of what she has and it's just good for sustainability. I think that this is a good practice even if you aren't planning to move or relocate just like taking everything out seeing what you have like I forgot I had this and I really love it. I loved a tiny top let me tell you. <laughs> I loved a tiny top. I also, in this next era, I want to be very conscious of materials. I bought a lot of stuff where like, I didn't think about like the fabric um, and how it would feel on my body in different conditions. And so there are a lot of things that I don't wanna wear cause it's just like not breathable. Um, just doesn't feel good against my skin. I will keep this dress until the end of time. You've probably seen it in so many videos. Like I love just like a light black dress. I have two that I just wear over and over again. I took my mic off because it's time to get to business. <laughs> So this is the beginning of the donation pile. Here are things that I would like to keep and take with me to Japan. Clearly planning to spend a lot of time in Okinawa because wow, the bathing suits. And then these are things that I would like to give and save for my sister. And then a couple things for later. I really think that I'm gonna have to like shrink this because I do not want to take more than a checked bag and a carry on, but we will see. Truthfully, <laughs> This is the part of this whole process that I have been dreading oops, slash avoiding. You know how everyone talks about how people with ADHD have that one drawer where they throw everything? This is mine. Don't, I don't even want you to see it. I don't want you to judge me. This is my drunk, drunk, junk drawer where I just threw like bills that I paid with the receipts, random things. It's not that. <laughs> It's pretty bad. Like, what is this? Um, so I need to go through, and what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna keep all the bills I paid. I think this is a good record to keep for um, for the landlord because I'll be seeing her to get my um, to get my deposit back and for her to walk through the apartment. I think that's good for her to have. Um, just in case anything comes up after I leave. Um, but there are, are a lot of things in here that I don't need. What I definitely need, wow, is my grandma in this Rafu Shimpo. Um, wow. This is a, um, is, I think, is this LA based? It's a, a, a LA newspaper and ADAP. Asian American drug abuse program that my grandma worked at before she worked at the Japanese American Cultural Community Center. She worked at ADAP uh, for, for years. They honored her in this newspaper and she gave me a copy and I will keep this forever. Um, so this is coming with me. This is like the one, I, I'm, I'm a minimalist. I don't hold on to a lot of things. Like I'm, I'm very good at, this is also a letter from my grandma that I'm gonna keep. I'm very good at letting go of things. Ooh, a Barnes & Noble gift card that I wasn't able to use here. I'm gonna use it when I'm in 
back in the States before I go. Anyways, I don't hold on to a lot of things. Um, I don't have a lot of attachments to my belongings, but um, I have these drawers around the house, like papers and things that like I don't want to decide what to do with them in the moment. And it's not great. This, I need to, I need to work on this. I'm going to have to work on this because my apartment in, in Japan, there's no room for me to, to be doing this kind of stuff. Like there simply is not a way. No, I just like, I always am worried that I'll need something later in terms of just like documentation. But the issue with this system is <laughs> that um, you can't find anything when you need the thing. So it doesn't really do me any good to have things like this because yeah, I have it, but like, can I actually locate it? Sometimes I can, but um, most of the time I can't. So my DJI stuff, I need any of that. Interior car wipes, for what car? Why do I have these? Girl, bye. Um, Drama me like <laughs> my god. Oh, this is a roll of super eight. AirPods. I don't think that these work. I think that's why they're in here. Oh, my friend printed out photos from our trip. Oh, I just love my friends. <laughs> oh, this didn't, this wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, this was not as bad as I thought it would be. Like, you never know when you're going to need something like this. <laughs> I just have to clean out these little things, like little knickknacks, but I've made good progress. It's trash. I'm really happy with what I've been able to accomplish today. Those are things that I've been putting off for a while, but I don't want to spend my last couple of days in Mexico stressing, so I'm trying to get them out of the way well in advance. Um, I've seen my friends go through this process and I don't want it to be overwhelming. And shout out to Kamal on Fiverr for making this transition so much easier. And you can also discover how Fiverr can streamline your life from visa inquiries to travel planning and more. Just click the link in my bio and use my code for a little discount. My arm is getting tired, so I'm gonna use two arms, but thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for showing up for me. Thank you for being patient with me. And as always, thank you for being here. I'll see you next week.